Uh, we'll just go up again. Yeah. Uh, that's about as good as we're going to get. Um, All right. Uh, and we're here with uh, the the winner tonight, and now WBO light heavyweight women's champion of the world, Giovanna Perez. Congratulations on an incredible fight. Yeah, it was was a very hard fight. wasn't easy at all, but I have prepared myself very well. Terry knows what he does and he trained me and prepared me very well for this so this is not only mine but it's his too because without him I wouldn't be here. That was easily one of the best fights I've seen uh, in a number of years men or women and I think uh, it definitely showed the, the hundreds of people here tonight and the thousands of people watching around the world uh, why we need to, to really get more support behind uh, women's boxing in, in New Zealand and around the world. Uh, you, do you think this is going to launch you onto a bigger stage? It's going to make you a household name here? Uh, that was my intention. I think uh, boxing is my passion, but I'm using it as a platform to really boost the boxing in New Zealand for women. I think uh, I have been saying that we have very talented girls here, not only in the professional boxing, but amateur boxing like Troy, uh, Roy, um, 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 Holly, <laughs> I forgot her name. Holly. Amy Tesman. Amy, yeah. 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 Many, many, many girls. I think we deserve this. I think uh, New Zealanders should support us more because the world needs to know us. We are here and we mean business. We sacrifice many things to get the work done and we do it. So I think we deserve. Ilani fought an incredible fight defensively. Uh, uh, I, I think. Uh, at the end of that fight, though, it was certainly your power and, and your strength that uh, that carried you through. Do you, how do you feel about that fight in, in terms of uh, your own performance? Um, well, <laughs> if you think, if you ask me about my own performance, I, I will always be critical on myself. I'm very hard on myself always. So Terry always tells me off because I'm never happy. So yeah, I did well, but also there are things that I need to work on it for the next one. So I'm always uh, assessing myself after a fight. Uh, Lenny did an amazing job. She came very different from the first time. I also came very different from the first time. I'm a much better boxer nowadays than I was a year ago. So, and I think we put a really good show for everybody and I think uh, was well deserved for both of us. Was it a harder fight this time around? Uh, it was different because uh, she, she, she stepped in in my game. And I was very happy with that because she came to my house. Welcome, here we are. I am the world of the champion of the world. <laughs> yeah, like she, she it definitely looked like she had a game plan to, to fight a very defensive fight. Uh, yeah, from the outset, uh, and she 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 looked to keep her distance from you in those early rounds, but uh, she became really aggressive in those middle rounds, and 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 you really locked uh, locked heads at some points. Uh, how did you feel about that in the middle rounds? Uh, I think in the beginning she, her plan was moving a lot, but I was catching her when she was moving to the sides. I was catching her with my hooks, wasn't I, coach? <laughs> so and I think uh, she changed the game after she came. As I said, she came to my my house, the inside fight, what I like. Uh, as she said, I'm a brawler, and she came to brawl with me, I brawled for her. Yeah. And all respect to her, because she's an amazing fighter. You, you, you do seem to have uh, grown over the past year in terms of uh, um, uh, not just skill, but also just in size as well. It looks like you've put on uh, some more muscle around your shoulders and uh, your body. Do you, find you, do you think you're more powerful now than you were a year ago? Oh, definitely. I have been working for more than a year, and so all the hardcore training sessions that I have with Terry, my personal trainer, and Alex Sua, and my nutrition, Chris, Chris Martin, and my nutritionist, Gavin uh, Clerking. So it's a teamwork. So I wouldn't be here without my team. So, yeah. Uh, and you, this is the pinnacle of the world winning the, uh, the, the, you know, the, the women's light heavyweight title. What's going to be next? Is, it, is, is there the possibility of a unif unification bout in the United States? Is that something that's on the cards for you? Uh, I don't know. This is a territory that Terry can talk to you because he plans. I just fight. <laughs> He's the manager. He decides. I fight. <laughs> so better you ask him what's next. <laughs> Who would you like to fight next? Uh, I have a dream to fight Clarissa Shields. 
uh, because she always has been my inspiration and my idol and I would like to step on the ring with her. Um, winning, losing doesn't matter, just for experience, you know. Same as Israel, Israel and Anderson Silva when the uh, student wants to face the master. It's some, something like that with me and Clarissa because I remember seeing her on the top of her amateur career and thinking, oh, this girl is pretty good. I want to be like her one day. I want to be on the ring with her one day. So this is my dream. Next. There were some pretty hot words coming from Clar Clarissa's camp uh, about this fight in, uh, in itself. Uh, how do you think you would fear in a fight against Clarissa tomorrow? Um, I, I, I really wanted this fight. So as I said to you, as winning, losing doesn't matter to me. I just have when I have the t chance to be face to face with my idol because I always have admired her. Um, and the words don't hurt me. So. I uh, have a real respect and admiration for her. That's it. Right. Hey, thank you very much and congratulations. Uh, the new uh, women's light heavyweight champion of the world, uh, Giovanna Perez. Uh, we'll have a quick chat to Terry. Uh, Terry, how did you feel about that fight? Um, yeah, good. I mean, um, she, Lani definitely brought a strong game plan um, to try and shock, I think, what to what we thought she was going to do. We thought she was going to move and run, but we were also very open to the possibility that she was going to stand and fight. Um, I always said to Giovanna that if she stands and fight, that's your game. That's great. Um, so Giovanna um, adapted quite well to it. But, I mean, full credit to Lani. She's one tough girl, you know, and, and she's a skillful fighter. And, um, and I just think Giovanna's power was what came through and um, just her inside fighting was... You know, just because that's how she fights a bit more. Um, so, but yeah, no, I, I was happy with her performance. I mean, there's, there's always going to be areas that you want to improve on, always. You know, um, and if she, for her to unify all the titles, then we have to we have to look at that. You know, so um, there's definitely areas that we need to improve on, um, and that's because we we don't just stop here. We're looking at all the titles. You know. She did stand and fight in those middle rounds, and it did actually look like uh, Lani landed some good shots on Giovanna in those middle rounds, which uh, maybe uh, wasn't what you were expecting. You were, you, you, you were maybe looking for her to, to for Lani to maybe stand back a little bit more and throw counter punches, but uh, when they went toe to toe, Lani did, did get a few uh, good shots in there. Uh, how did you feel that uh, Giovanna feared in those in that uh, in those tough situations? I mean, you know that was going to happen I mean boxing's boxing it wasn't going to be a one-sided fight you know Lani was always going to be in it um, so I was pretty happy with Giovanna's sparred some of the best like um, Smiley was, was one of her main sparring partners you know and I mean he's very explosive cruiserweight you know um, and then um, Jerome um, Pascura I can't pronounce his last name uh, he's very, very uh, one of the middleweights. He's very, uh, very good fighter, and we owe him a lot. He, he, um, he did a lot of sparring, and of course, um, the rest of the, the mayhem lot that was sparring here. Um, so yeah, it, it looked like uh, Giovanna landed a lot of shots uh, throughout the fight to Lani's head, uh, and uh, all around her, uh, around around her head, uh, but seemed to struggle to land uh, body shots against a very strong defensive fighter. Uh, who kept her guard really strong around her around her chest and uh, and lower rib cage? Uh, is that something you think you need to work on with Giovanna? Um, in terms of Giovanna landing on, uh, well, yeah, I mean, like we said, there's always going to be things we need to work on. Um, and Lani was come in quite defensively, quite sound. Um, so, but I mean, at the end of the day, I I believe it was her consistency that pulled through the fight. You know, of continuously staying and keeping it at a certain level. Um, we did notice Lani sort of coming down a bit, sort of in the in the sort of later rounds. That's when she started to break a bit, which is kind of like what we planned anyway. Um, but no, all credit to Lani because she she stood there and fought. She fought a hell of a fight. So, did you did you expect there to be a stoppage? Ideally, we would want one. <laughs> I mean, you, you don't ever want to leave it up to judges. Um, but did you expect it going in? 50-50, yeah. I'll be honest. Yeah, I, I, you know, it could have been there. I thought if Giovanna landed that, you know, she got a very good overhand right if it landed clean. But again, Lani's a tough girl. She took the shot and um, she came back. So Who's next? Clarissa Shields would be great. Um, Is it going to happen? I hope so. <laughs> so, um, you know, it's, I, only because 
You know, uh, Clarissa came back quite hard and fast about, you know, her being quite respectful and fighting and stuff like that. So, the end day looks, you know, it'll be a good fight. Um, again, all respect to Clarissa, she's done amazing, you know, in, in boxing and it would be the ultimate for a boxer to want to fight someone at that level. So. Hey, con congratulations, Terry. Uh, you've, you've now trained a world champion. And congratulations again to Giovanna Perez, the WBO light heavyweight uh, women's champion of the world. Congratulations, guys. Cheers. Are Thanks. Are just say something? Else? Yeah, of course. Like Absolutely. To ben, because Ben, uh, he, he was my promoter. He, <laughs> he did all uh, marketing work. Thanks, Ben. And he was always in my corner. Thanks. Yeah, Thanks exactly. very much. Cheers, guys. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks.